will be an example for the individual demand and market demand uh, concept that I was talking about in the last video. So we're going to start off with an example with Abby and Luke being the only buyers of burgers in the market. So Abby and Luke are the only people that buy these burgers and we have Abby's demand curves in the first column, uh, Luke's demand curves in the second column, and the markets, the whole market's demand curve in the second column. And remember in the market, it only consists of Abby and Luke who are buying burgers. So let's kick it off. Also, not a lot of people use Abby for examples. Huh. I guess I'm the first one, but filling the point there. So okay, let's start off. So as you can see in this graph, oh, forgot to remind you that the price of the burger per burger is on the vertical, vertical and the quantity is on the horizontal. And yeah, from the point, from the graphs that I have here, Abby will buy 30 burgers at a dollar. Well, she won't, she won't buy 30 burgers. What I mean is she'll buy, uh, at, she'll buy at most 30 burgers. What I mean is at the 30th burger, the most she is willing to pay is a dollar. So Abby will buy 30 burgers at a dollar. Now for Luke, for Luke, Luke is willing to pay a dollar for the 10th burger that he will buy and that is represented by that point here. Okay, so, so far so good. We find that at a dollar a burger, uh, Abby is willing to buy 30 burgers. At a dollar a burger, Luke is willing to buy 10 burgers. Now, since Luke and Abby are the only people, two people in the, in the market for burgers, society is willing to buy 40 burgers at a dollar. This is because, uh, this is because at a dollar per burger, Abby will buy 30 burgers, or at most 30 burgers for a dollar, and Luke will buy 10 burgers. So really, 30 plus 10 is 40 burgers, and 40 burgers and since they're the only people in the market, and stupid curio, since Luke and Abby are the only people in the market, we can calculate that at this point, for the market, at a dollar per burger, there will be at most 40, uh, 40 burgers sold. Or at the 40th bur oh, or at the 40th burger, the most that society is willing to pay is a dollar. Okay, so so far so good. Society is willing to pay a dollar for the 40th uh, burger is what we found out. Now that that's done, we already know the process of how to get this market demand curve for this last curve. So here, this curve, which is Abby's demand curve, and this curve, which is Luke's demand curve, is the same as above. But now we're going to use them to get the curve, the entire curve for the market demand. Here we only got the point. This time we're trying to get the, get the whole curve. So at 250, nobody is willing to buy any burgers. Abby will buy zero and Luke will buy zero. At two dollars, Abby is willing to buy ten burgers and Luke is willing to buy zero. So that's ten plus zero. So that's just ten. At 150, Abby is willing to buy uh, twenty burgers while Luke is still willing to buy zero. So the most that society is willing to buy at 150 is twenty burgers. Now, at one dollar, we already calculated that Abby will buy at most thirty, and Luke will buy at most ten, and that'll give us not thirty but forty. Forty burgers. So at the fortieth burger, the most that society is willing to pay is a dollar. So at this last point, at at fifty cents, Abby is willing to buy uh, the fortieth burger for fifty cents, and Luke is willing to buy. His 20th burger for 50 cents. Now 40 plus 20 is equal to 60, so that's where we'll get our point. And what we do next is we just connect the dots. Connecting the dots freehandedly is always so hard. But hope that's good enough. Okay, so yeah, that's how we get our market demand graph or market demand curve, it's not that hard. All we need to know is we just add up 
all the individual demands and that how that's how we get our market demand and that's the final note the market demand curve which is this is the horizontal sum of the individual demand curves and that's the process that we went we just went through we added up the horizontal sum of the individual demand curve to get the market demand curve and that's all I want to teach you in this video please rate comment subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching